we are currently at the Florida uh, police station. We've got families that are, are, di are displaced at the Jerusalem. Uh, they are running away from the Zama Zama. So we're here now at the Florida police station. As you can see, they're all here. Um, all here. Uh, they are all here. So there's going to be some operations tonight and uh, people are running away from there. Uh, the, the areas where they are, they are staying in, they ran out or when they came to the police station. Uh, when we came, the police station was closed, they were sleeping outside, so we have to call the, the you know, the, the station commander to come through, but he's here now. The, the station commander says that he doesn't have any manpower, so we brought in the JMPD units, as you can see, the JMPD officers are here, and everyone, they, 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 they all came here. So, we're going to bring in the special forces here, we're going to go into Jerusalem right now, tonight and look for these, uh, you know, the, the, the people there. So apparently what they did, they, they, they were shooting at about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Uh, it is alleged that they were running away from Zamembilo, where we did the operation, the Zamembilo at the Rivali. So they are running away, coming to Goma Deep and Deep, and um, it's Deep and Deep, you know, Jerusalem and all of that. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to saturate this area, uh, the Jerusalem right now we are actually going to be going there so that our people can go back to their, info, to their places of, of stay and then we're going to monitor the whole you know the situation around the area here yeah, thank you today they are lightly put on the line to ensure that we try and keep these residents safe and secure we have been faced with a challenge for the first time as a city there is meant to be an economic hub of the country, but we are turning into a war zone. And it is not easy for you to leave your household understanding that you are about to face a hostile situation. I'm not saying this on the basis that you have been trained for such conditions, but I'm saying this because of our appreciation for your contribution and your sacrifices that you are willing to make to protect the residents. I am here today as the executive mayor to demonstrate the fact that we stand with you in solidarity. Not only in our place of comfort, where we work behind the desk, but directly involved in those incidences that you are confronted with. I'm here to encourage you, and I'm here to, to register the fact that our communities highly depend on what you are able to achieve. It is unfortunate, like I said, that we have to resort to such drastic measures. But when push comes to shove, we have to do what we have to do. We are the city of Johannesburg and we will not be subjected to conditions that we are unfamiliar with. And we will not allow lawlessness to prevail without uh, uh, punitive measures. So I am here to witness to experience and to be with you on the ground so that I can be able to, in my capacity as the executive mayor, ensure that you have all the necessary resources that are required because your safety is also our priority. And we ensure that you have the necessary support that you will need in order for you to represent us in your area of expertise. We thank you and we are always grateful for the work that you do on the ground. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.